It's important that the three pillars are perfectly balanced, a little bit like the legs of a stool. Because if either one of them, or maybe two of them, are out of balance or not as strong, then it can have consequences for your leadership style. Let's think through some examples. Imagine that you were highly effective at understanding, so understanding people, but you weren't so good at influencing and you weren't so good at connecting. The chances are you'd have a very empathic style of leadership, you'd be very caring and considerate, but you probably would be a little bit rudderless and probably only that effective at working with one individual at a time, not so effective at the one to many. Just imagine that you were very effective at the influencing, but you weren't so good when it came to the connection piece or the understanding piece. Well, the chances are you would get a lot done, but you'd also leave a wake of destruction in your path because you wouldn't really be thinking about the individuals and what matters to them, and you wouldn't really be trying to do that in a way that brings people along with you. And let's think about the third combination. Let's imagine that you were really good at connecting but you weren't so good at the understanding or the influencing. But the chances are you would be a very likable leader, but probably one that doesn't have a clear direction or a very deep connection with people. So whilst you'd be likable, the chances are working for you would be a little bit more like going to a social club. So that's why it's important to have all three in balance.